Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. That link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we have basically rallied quite significantly. We're up 0.81% at its current stage. And yes, there is a lot of room still to the upside. You can see here in the bullish band, we are roughly, roughly half a percent, 0.56 before we hit the top of the bullish band. And that is also these previous highs. So when we get to roughly 1370, that is where we are going to run into quite a major resistance. And then we'll probably have a pullback towards the 20 exponential before we go higher. So we will most likely rally around um, roughly uh, half a percent or 0.6% uh, percent, and then we'll fall roughly 1% towards the 20 exponential moving average. That will probably be a gradual decline similar to this and then we'll go higher. So that's what we have been doing for, well, all the way back to, uh, to the beginning of November, we have been in this uptrend or we can basically take it down here is basically the end of september we have been in an uptrend and we have grown roughly 8.11 percent since since the end of september so this is is looking like it's just a continuation we are rallying up towards this resistance line it will pull back and then rally and then just gradually go higher so at this moment technical indicators are very bullish at this stage um or not very bullish they are bullish uh, so MACD is turning around. It's going to cross the signal line probably tomorrow or on Friday session. The, the RSI is bullish. The CCI is bullish. Stochastic is turning around here. So everything points to a rally up towards this level. And then we'll probably find a lot of resistance. If we break above this, then we are going to 1380. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. As you can see, we have fallen quite significantly today. Zero point. Uh, 37 is the is the uh, number at this current stage, so uh, this is a this is a trade that we have uh, decided to enter because we have been in this downtrend for all the way back since March last year, and now we are basically hitting the top of this range, and therefore we decided to enter, and our target will basically be these previous lows, which is 102 uh, point. Uh, uh, 5679 uh, that is basically going to be our target we'll probably run into support here at the 50 moving average so we'll probably have a pullback from here and then we'll continue down if you look at the bullish band for example we were way outside of the bullish band and therefore we are going to go at least towards the middle here at 103.504 and uh, if you look at technical indicators they are turning around some of them are becoming very bearish and uh, the MACD for example is uh, quite off the signal line so we'll probably take a few days before that gives down but uh, pretty comfortable comfortable with this trade that we are going to head towards this bottom here so let's look at the euro us dollar we started rallying here we found support just about the 50 moving average and now it looks like we are going to head back towards these previous highs so we'll probably run into quite a lot of resistance just underneath here, uh, which is the top of the bullish band. So 1232 is probably where we are going to find uh, quite a lot of resistance. But 50 moving average looks like it is the bottom of this market. So there's still roughly a 1.3% to the upside. If we rally above this line, then we're heading all the way to 1235. Technical indicators are are turning around but they're still far off so we may see some uh, back and forwards here before we go higher macd is still bearish the cci rsi is uh, is flat the cci is technically bearish as well and you can see that the mac uh, the stochastic is turning around here but it looks like we found major support here and usually what happens we'll go to the middle first and then to all the way to the top here of the bullish band so aussie dollar us dollar we have rallied today, we are up 0.78% and we are most likely going to back to these highs, which is basically the top of the Bollinger Band at 0.78 to 
the 50, 20 exponential moving average is still major support as it has been all the way back to uh, the beginning of November. And uh, we're just gonna, we are basically witnessing just the same. Pull back towards the 20, rally, pull back 20, and then just rally will continue. So we are on the edge of being our bot, but this has in the past gone all the way up to 88 in the RSI. So, so we're still fairly low compared to that. Other technical indicators are uh, turning around, for example, CCI, but the MACD and the stochastic are still uh, still bearish at this point. But I'm uh, pretty sure that we are going to head back towards these previous highs. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have fallen yet again today. Today we found support resistant here at the 50 moving average. And yes, this is just a continuation of this same trend. Uh, rallies up towards the 50 and the 40 exponential moving average are to be sold into and at the moment the target is 12 the 63 and uh, yes if that breaks then we are going significantly lower technical indicators for this are fairly mixed uh, macd is still under it's underneath zero so because we're in downtrend but we're above the signal line the rsi is very negative the cci is turning around and so is the stochastic you can see that is about to turn around here um, we are most likely going to back to the bottom of the bullish band, which are these previous lows at uh, 1.263. So one other trade that we made today is based also US dollar uh, Norwegian Krona. It has also been in a downtrend for quite some time. Uh, the 40 exponential and the, and the 20 exponential have been significant. So resistant for US dollar uh, Norwegian Krona. And um, yesterday we basically breached the 20 exponential moving average and then we decided to start selling this and the target are these previous lows which is also at the bottom of the Bollinger Band so yes uh, we are fairly certain that it's going to go down to uh, 8.36227 or give or take that area technical indicators are fairly mixed they are um, they are for example the MACD is going to turn around here RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around, it's only the stochastic that also turns around here. But this is just a continuation of this trend. Rallies up towards the 20 exponential are to be sold into. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.